everybody, I'm in the Little Wood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Today is episode 23, and any episode that ends in the number 3, I'm never particularly confident in. Uh, luckily, today, a lot of you gave me very, very mild spoilers on, uh, on the comments of the last video, telling me that it's not actually in the forest, the propeller that we're looking for. It's actually over here, in the... is it called the Eldin Volcano? Uh, that's the Lanayru Desert, so I don't know why I'm going there. Um, what is... <laughs> Where's the Elden Volcano? It's this way, isn't it? Yeah. So apparently you go to the Elden Volcano, you go to the top um, you go to the top portal that you can choose from, and then when you travel down into it, it's just where remember where we knocked over that massive tower? The sort of like Jenga sort of game that was going on. Apparently it's right near there. So we're just gonna head through this little like speed boost and we should hopefully be able to get down there. Is it, is that an island in the distance or is that lingering around the portal? can't quite tell from this angle. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, Atoshwing. There we go. He's better now. He's good. If you haven't guessed as well already, by the way, today, I'm uh, not feeling too good. But I'm still going to record a video because it's my thing. It's my job. I can't, like, have a day off work. Oh, I have three of those icons. Uh, four of those. I could have sworn I only had three. Ah, oh, fair enough. Right, well, we need to go to the temple entrance. There we go. Yes, I'd like to descend into this area. Adam. Right, whilst that loads, let's check out some fan art for today. No idea what it's going to be because I don't check these ahead of time now just because I'll end up forgetting or getting it wrong. But there you go. Whoever created that one, link in the description to their DeviantArt page and uh, thank you very much for that. You are Athen. Right, let me just get my... Um, I can see... Is there any bugs down there? Let's have a look. There's the propeller. Ah, oh, yeah. There we go. That's going to save us like seven episodes worth of stuff. Just like me going around the forest like, where is it? I'm dousing, but I can't find it. Uh, this is the windmill propeller you were searching for. Yep. It's now possible to retrieve this using the robot whose services we have enlisted. Yes, call the robot. Let's see how I was going to do it. Uh, send the word to the robot. Yes, there you go. You're going to use telepathy. Oh, yeah. Whoa. That's not telepathy. That's like... You're like calling him like a bird. I like how the music kicks in whenever he comes in. That's cool. I like this music, actually. Mistress Fee, I hope you weren't waiting too long. Yeah, that's right. You were too slow, boy. I'm a pipsqueak, apparently. Ugh. Master Short Pants again. <sighs> of course I'm in your way. This is going to be a love-hate relationship, isn't it? Even though I saved his life time and time again, I saved his brethren from death and destruction. I brought them back to life. Activating all of those time stones... You still don't give a damn. And not one mm was given that day. Uh, you suggest we return to the sky and collect the propeller as soon as possible. Yes, let's do that. There we go. Now, I was, about to, I was just about to turn around and run off the edge and be like, Oh yeah, Toshwin, come here. But I just realised that probably isn't going to work. Can I get all the way to the top of here? Oh, I can. Awesome. There we go. I don't have to deal with those guys that are shooting stuff. Uh, hold on a second. Is that a blessed butterfly? Hold on a minute. Maybe if I play my harp up there. Hold on a minute. Uh, I'm trying to be careful when I do this. Anyway, balls to it. Right, where's my... Oh, yeah. There's a secret here. Boing, 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 boing. Hello. Whoa, check that out. You got some Eldin ore. This hard constant... Oh, uh, was it? Concretion. Is that a real word? Concretion? This hard concretion. I've never heard that word before in my life. This hard, this hard concretion sparkles brightly. It also has lots of different uses. Yeah, like upgrading my armor, but I never have enough of any bloody item to actually do that. Alright, anyway. Let's go. Let's go down. Oh, ow. <laughs> of all the places you could have chosen to fall into there. And you choose just there. Anyway, let's rock and roll. Let's go uh, to the sky. Part of me wanted to catch those blessed butterflies, because now I've actually found the boingy boing thing. Um, the only other use is to sell them to that guy. You know, the creepy tall guy. He's like, oh, yes, I, I love butterflies. Mm, mm. But yeah, we're not going to bother with that. We're going to go back up and see the ninja warrior man. Oh, yeah. Come now, Atoshwing. Let us fly. Whoa, what was that? Oh, it's the guy. He's going to follow us back home. Hey, up, mate. I like how I'm always nice to him, even though he's a dick to me all the time. There we go. Let's see if he can handle the speed of this. He's only a tiny little thing. He's not a big bird with the wingspan to control it. Oh, apparently he can. 
Is it going to go straight into a cutscene? That's different. I don't think that's ever happened when I've approached. Oh, he's taking us straight to the propeller spot. There we go. Easy as. Here he comes with a propeller. Thank you, noob. Here's that windmill propeller. No, don't just throw it on the ground. For God's sake. <sighs> I think he's got a thing for Fee, you know. I think he's got a little a little something something going on for her. Whoa! Is that that beat up old robot from Gardner's place? Wait just a second. Is that it it is! It's the windmill propeller! That's the thing that's supposed to have fallen below the clouds. Are you saying that that whole story handed down from Gondo's family was actually true? Hmm, somehow I get the feeling this is all some kind of elaborate prank, but I guess I'll try to fix this thing. That's right, fix the windmill. So we can turn the sails. There we go, and it goes crank in a few clicks. Is that what she said? Yeah. Possibly. Yeah. That took a lot of effort, but that ought to do it. If you can find some way to spin the propellers, you can probably turn the windmill yeah. around. Honey? <gasps> Who's your other half then? You'd fix the cupboard. <laughs> oh, somebody's whipped. Meow. <laughs> right, let me get my gust of aloes. I could probably take that point off the map as well now. Where's the map? Don't want to get bombs out. There we go. Out there we go. And we need to get ourselves the gust of or gust bellows. Do I keep calling them the gust of bellows? I do, don't I? What are they actually called? They're just called gust bellows. My bad. Bet people have been freaking at me for that. There we go. This got to do like a full 360 first, doesn't it? Jesus! I just got to make sure that I don't overshoot it because if I let go now, look, it still keeps going for ages. So I've really got to time this right because I can't bother to spin it around multiple times. If I let go when it's about there, that's got to go, hasn't it? Go on. Oh, no. And stop. It's still not there yet. Stop. 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 Yes. Phew. I thought it was going to overshoot. Whoa. Hold on a minute. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the finest of them all? Finest? Fairest. But when you're a dude, you don't ask if you look fit. You ask if you're looking fine. There we go. Right, cool. Let's go over to it. So the light tower has some kind of mirror on it. I'm assuming that I'm going to have to do a skyward strike on it. It bears the emblem. Right, can I get across this river without getting thrown off the edge of Skyloft? I think I can. Yeah, I can. Cool. Awesome. I went to the shop a minute ago as well, just before I started recording today. Oh, there he is. Oh, hey, Fee. Hey, hey Link. <laughs> Fee, what? Are you just saying the same thing as before? Yeah, I can do lots of push-ups. No one cares. Thank you, voiceover man. I didn't give a damn either. No, he talks about this and that. He talks about all these push-ups. I've never seen him do more than seven. He counts, we come in the room, he stops. I think he's lying. As soon as he hears the door going, he starts counting from five. Yeah, that's what I reckon happens as well. All right, here we go. Should we Skyward Strike this? I would Skyward Strike it or we play the harp here. Oh, sorry. Got a little bit excited there. Okay, so it's not Skyward Strike, so it looks like we're going to be playing our harp. Here we go, let's strum away. There we are. Nothing. What was the second part of the, the rhyme again? Hmm. Interesting. Fee, have you got any info for me, love? Yeah, I did call for you. Uh, advice. There we go. What information do you seek? Summary. Uh, we need that, don't we, so we can remember what to do. In order to accomplish... Uh, blah, 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 yep, gate of time... A second gate of time exists, but in order to activate it, you need to enhance your sword, yep. No, but what was the... Well, I've got this, but I don't know what to do with it, Fee. Fee, I don't know what to do. Wait, hold on. Do I have to rotate this so the sunlight beams into it? Yeah, I reckon that's what it is. So can I can I push this, or or what? How do I move this thing? Um, Unless I get enough of a mirror to shine onto that, but I don't own a mirror, do I? No, I don't. Hmm. So, how exactly... Let me try playing the harp again. The harp's definitely not doing anything, is it? Maybe it's worth going back to the old geezer and seeing what he has. Yeah, I'm going to go back to him. Because I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing right now. 
Here we go. Right, cool. Let's go back to the old man. Let's see what the headmaster has to say about all of this. I'm pretty sure that is that it would have changed what he was saying since we've now activated the two things. Because we can tell him what we know and he'll be like, Oh yes, that makes perfect sense. Or go, Oh, yes, this makes perfect sense. Oh yeah, did I catch two in one? Oh, check that! Collateral! Double catch. Catch a manjaro. Catch tacular. You caught two blessed butterflies. These insects are commonly found in every province. In rare cases, you can find them flying in strange locations. Oh, but that also means that if I play my blessed butterf- uh, the- If I play the little thing here- Hold on a minute. No, 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 fee bugger off, I pressed the wrong direction. Never mind. There we go. Let me play the harp here. Is there a boingy boingy stone here? Come on, there's blessed butterflies here. Surely that's gotta mean something. Means nothing? Uh, they probably just like the daffodils. Never mind. Anyway, uh, Headmaster is upstairs, isn't he? So, we do a little bit of hardcore. Actually, no, let's, let's go from downstairs. Just in case there's any extra side quests. I swear I spent mo more time in like the last five or six episodes doing side quests rather than actually doing anything of importance. <laughs> to be fair, that's what I'm noticing. There we go. What's Granny up to? You got nothing to say today, Granny? No, nothing today, dear. Just making some crumpets. Oh, fair enough. There you go. It's a very British thing for you to be making. Well, I like to broaden my horizons every once in a while. Nope, those two are looking intently in each other's eyes. Look into my eyes. You see. No, you're not supposed to look at me. No, you two don't mind me. There we go. Good morning, darling. Ah, <laughs> good morning. Well, nah, whatever. I was going to make them do a full on like monologue, but I decided not to. Right, anyway. Let's go into here. Headmaster Greg. Okay. Here we go. Hello, friend! Hmm. Oh, guide the two great whirling sails towards the light tower. The, the youth who shall be. What? Shall be led to the place where the songs of legends dwell. But I don't understand what to do next. I've got the yeah, I've got the two whirling sails. Yeah. Oh, you're no help. What do I do now? I've got to move that mirror somehow. Hmm. Or maybe it's maybe I use the gust ballows to move it around. That's just a wild guess, but I can hope. <laughs> I can hope that's what it is. Or maybe I have to go to the evening. Maybe the moonlight shines in a different direction. Ooh. That might be good thinking on my part. <gasps> let's try it. I mean, we're not got nothing to lose, have we? Let's have a, let's have a go. Because we can still get on top of that tower during the evening, so it might be worth a shot. Either that, I will waste about five minutes here, but let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Right, that's Fledger's room. Is this on my room? Yeah, there we go. Ah, good. Let's go to sleep. Have I got any more rupees in my cupboard? Anything at all? Oh, yeah. You got a blue rupee. It's worth five rupees. Drop it in your wallet and you'll no longer be a poor boy. And nobody loves you still. Right, there we go. He's just a poor boy. Nobody loves him. Uh, until night time. There we go. Awesome. And that's when everybody's secret hidden agenda comes out. People collect bugs. People do push-ups. People need toilet paper. I wouldn't be surprised if the headmaster's out dogging somewhere. I'll be honest. Right, here we go. So if we head over to the... Uh, which way is it? Here we go. Let's go this way. Oh, those lights look really pretty. They sort of remind me of gratitude crystals a little bit. Right, let's just see if the toilet is now free. So if I want to go in the middle of the night... Oh, yeah, I can now. I can. It's all been cleared up. Good. Right. Let's jump out of there. There we go. Through the door. And let's head outside. There we go. Oh, we can't get out of that door. Oh, of course, we have to go out the top door, don't we? Forgot about that. I wonder why that is, actually. I mean, maybe I suppose it's because the headmaster lives on the top floor. So maybe if anybody does try to get out, then he hears them. But I could be wrong. I'm just going to check in the bathroom as well, because... No, I can't check in there. Okay. Because people were saying that these random gratitude crystals sprinkled all over Skyloft. So I've not seen any more yet. I've been by the bazaar in the evening, but uh, I didn't see any there, so... Hmm, interesting. Anyway, let's make our way over there. So, the quickest way to get to it would be down here, and then it's just off the opposite end of the bazaar, isn't it? 
Whoa, slime. There we go. Oh, luckily, this isn't the, the slime that does the, um... It's not the one with the electricity, is it? No. Whoa! Oh, yeah. Bugging me. There are you. Come here. One, two, three. There we go. Oh, I didn't realise you could break bushes as well. Huh. Fair enough. Oi! Right, bugger off you. No! Bad kitty! No kitty! in my papa! No kitty! There we go. Oh, there's bats out here as well. <gasps> I wonder if I could get, like, a claw. No, nothing like that. Okay, never mind. Uh, what about... No, nothing. Okay, whatever. Right, let's go up here. Let's see what happens. Just a little climb up. Oh, good. And I'm... That's it. Up we go. Good. And up to there. And up we go. There we go. Does the moonlight shine in a different direction? Does it hell as like? Right, hold on. How the... I really don't get how I'm supposed to do this. Um... I don't have any kind of light source or a mirror or anything. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's have a pretty short episode for today because I'm completely lost. So somebody's going to have to help me out here. Um, because... I'm assuming we have to move that into the direction of the light. But it's not making any sense. Unless you have to turn the tower itself, which I don't think is possible, is it? Let me just walk around the tower and see if there's any switches here. Oh, gratitude crystal! Aha! You got one gratitude crystal! These four when a person is so completely overwhelmed with feelings of thankfulness that the crystallized gratitude is created. Collect these and show them to Batrix. I mean, that's supposed to be Batrix, but whatever. It's fine. Right, so we got that. Is there no way of turning this tower? We just need to shift it uh, anti-clockwise by about uh, 90 degrees. But there's really not, is there? That's so strange. I really don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing here. Bloody hell, that's a big moon. <laughs> Jesus. Right, anyway, I'll tell you what. We'll leave it there for today. Thank you very much for watching. And I shall see you all in the next episode in the next couple of days. So have an awesome day. And I shall see you all in a little bit. Bye! Oh, Link's waving his sword. <laughs>